Hey everybody, what's up? So in today's video, we're going to bring you guys a quick little tutorial going over the screen sharing application built into Mac OS X. So what this allows you to do is, let's say we have two Macs, and you want to show the screen of one Mac on the Mac that you're on currently, and you also want to control it. Well, that is what the screen sharing application does. So what I'm going to be showing you is, I'm on my iMac right now, but I also have my MacBook open right next to me, and they're both on the same Wi-Fi network. And what I want to be able to do is I want to see the screen of my MacBook right here on my iMac and then be able to control my MacBook because let's say for some weird reason my MacBook is not next to my desk or whatever. So what we need to do first is make sure that both of the computers have screen sharing enabled. So go to system preferences, go to sharing, and then make sure the screen sharing application right here is checkmarked. And you can go further on, allow access, choose the settings, and blah, blah, blah. But the most important thing is to make sure that this is checkmarked on the computer that we want to control. So in this case, I would make sure that this is checkmarked on my MacBook. And so then what I would do is I'm going to go down here to Finder. And then as you can see here, we have the Shared tab open. And that shows that I have my MacBook right down here. Now make sure you have the Shared tab enabled. So just make sure that in the properties of the sidebar here, the Shared tab is enabled. So then go and click on the device you want to control. So I want to control my MacBook and then let's click on share screen and it'll launch up the screen sharing application right down here. But as you can notice right here, it shows the screen of my MacBook. As you can see here, it's my MacBook right up here and I can control everything. I can go right down here to the finder. I have my sidebar and I can go up here and disconnect or I can go to my screen sharing preferences, which just again, make sure that this is checkmarked on the computer that you want to control. But then I can control this computer. This is my other laptop, which is right next to me. And you guys can't see it right now because it's uh, you guys can't see my actual laptop. But as I move this on here, it actually moves on my laptop without me touching it. And that's pretty cool. And another thing is if you have Mac OS X Lion, you can full screen this. And as you can see now, I'm viewing my laptop screen full screen on my desktop. However, we have these borders around it because my laptop is a smaller resolution than my desktop. But yeah, I can control all this stuff. And if I wanted to control my iMac, I would just do the same thing. Go up here to shared, click my iMac, and then share screen. But I don't want to be on my MacBook sharing the screen of my MacBook sharing the screen of my iMac. That would be screen sharing exception. And plus, I actually haven't gotten... I actually haven't had that much of good luck with sharing my iMac on my laptop. I don't know if it's because my MacBook's on Snow Leopard, my desktop's on Lion, but, uh, you know, at least I've gotten it to work like this. So, no, let's just exit out of full screen here. And so that's basically it. That is how to control the screen of your other Mac via the screen sharing application on Mac OS X. So that's just a quick little tutorial for you guys. I thought it was cool. I figured it out while I was transferring files and I was, uh, I found it amazing that I didn't have to download TeamViewer. And also I wanted to use this video as a little test to try out how my screen recording settings are working on my brand new computer. But yeah, enough with my rambling. I'd like to say thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.